<clears throat> well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, good, again, as I always say, it all depends on where you're coming <laughs> in from. Uh, could be good morning, could be good afternoon, could be good night, could be all of those. Mm -hmm. But either way it goes, we just wanted to come in and be faithful and be consistent in our endeavor to do uh, these 30 days of um, a sudden breakthrough. Yes. And so we are, again, LaJean Cole. I'm Valora Cole. Yes, you like saying <laughs> that, don't you? <laughs> she always smiles when she says that. Uh, Sharon Hanks uh, Davis, I'm hoping that you got the information about um, information about um, Arkansas, Little Rock. We are coming about two weeks from now. We will be in Little Rock, and so I'm really, really excited. God bless about, you, Esther Glory. Uh, what God is doing and how He's doing it. And uh, Carla uh, uh, Lewis Wallace, we are headed to your city as well. We're coming to Houston. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I got, got to remember the date, but I think you saw it yesterday. And so uh, really excited about what God is doing. Thank you for those that are coming on. And, and uh, thank you for all of those that, uh, again, you're coming on and you're sharing. That really means a lot. We really appreciate that. We are in our car. Uh, <laughs> And then, uh, Shamir, we are, uh, yep, you look like you're getting ready to accelerate. Absolutely. Uh, that's why we're in the car. Uh, and so if you're in Memphis, we're coming to Little Rock, which is only about an hour and a half away from Memphis, and we'd love to see you there. Um, yep, so at any rate, thank you for sharing. We're getting ready to talk uh, in just a second because I really believe that God wants to do something tremendous in your life. He wants to do something tremendous in my life. And uh, let me tell you something. Yesterday... Uh, we've been talking about divine connections. Um, we talked about uh, strength. We talked about, and then yesterday, we were talking about not just favor, but favor that opens doors. Let me see if my book is in here. I want to find my book. Okay. I think, yep, there I got one. I always keep a sudden breakthrough somewhere <laughs> close to me, okay? So yesterday, page five. So yesterday we were talking about rest, well, restoration, the strength of the ox, releasing the things which have been held up. And let me tell you something. I told you guys we were getting ready to go to a meeting. We went to the meeting and there was so much favor. It was just ridiculous, the amount of favor uh, that God released. And, uh, and so I've got a couple of things really excited to tell you guys about them really soon. Can't talk about it right now, but I'm going to talk about it really soon. And it's gonna be amazing. And then today we said it suddenly acceleration will come. And so, um, and then we're not gonna do Saturday and Sunday, I don't think, but Saturday is overflow and Sunday is exposure. So we may end up doing something with those on the weekend. I know we're gonna do uh, the midnight fire on Saturday night. Yes. Yep, we're gonna do midnight fire. So whatever it takes, midnight fire, Saturday night. Make yes. sure you're ready, make sure you're there, okay? Many of y'all ask for that at least once a week, and so I'm going to try to oblige. We try to make you guys, make sure you guys get what you need. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much, Audrey. Bless your heart. So anyway, rate, we're talking about acceleration, divine acceleration, acceleration from God. Uh, many of you sometimes, and, and not just necessarily even many of you, mm -hmm. many of us, sometimes we feel like we're stagnant. We feel like we're in yeah. a place where we're not accelerating, we're not moving, things are standing still. Uh, but as you can tell, the car is running and uh, the engine is on and the car is ready. It's just a matter of putting it in gear and putting my foot on the gas. Mm -hmm. And so I'm finding that uh, there are some things that we call accelerants. And so an accelerant is something that causes something else to, to, to basically uh, combust. And so my prayer is that you're gonna begin to get connected to people, places, and things that literally can cause you to accelerate, go to your next level, go to the next place that you were yes. literally, uh, literally, literally called to go to, amen. Uh, oh, somebody said they don't normally comment, but they love us all. Oh, we we love you and appreciate you, you too. Thank you. Cynthia Brown Williams, yes, we do. Thank we really you. love you. No, we, we appreciate that. And um, it's gonna, it'll clear up. It's just that the, um, just have to, there we go. Yep, see? There it is. Yep, there <laughs> it is. So at any rate, so I, w I was thinking about this and I said oh, we were gonna find a good location because we're getting ready to go to another meeting. But we were looking for a good location and I said there's no better location than right here in, uh, in the car because yeah. I really believe that we're literally getting ready to go into another, uh, even warp zone is the word I was just thinking, warp zone. We're getting ready to literally go from where we are to where we're destined to be mm -hmm. 
and it's going to be at a speed faster than we could have imagined. Amen? You want to Absolutely. say something? And I'm going to pray for you guys in a moment. When, when we really understand the supernatural power of God, then when he puts super on our natural, our own ability, um, we go at a faster rate. We go, we're able to accomplish more in less time with less resources. You know, it's amazing. Um, even in, in being in covenant with God is honoring God with the first of, of everything that he's blessed us with as we give him tithe and offering then he blesses what's left and it comes out greater than it was from the whole so when we honor God and give him what belongs to him he puts an accelerant on the rest of what we have left and and, and it explodes it becomes more becomes greater than the whole and so God is so that's an example of financial acceleration yes okay absolutely and so we want to accelerate in every area of our life through our finances through our relationships we want to excel through our businesses we want to excel we want things to grow we want things to increase we want to um, you know have the capacity to receive uh, more than what you know, of what God has in store for us and so it's, it's just an amazing amazing time when you we're able to actually put a demand on the Word of God when God releases the word one of the things that is so important that we we understand is when God gives us a word when he gives us um, instruction when he gives us a prophetic promise then we have to come into agreement with that word sometimes we just leave the word out there but we have to really be a partaker um, of the word we have to we really have to join in with God in in accomplishing and receiving what he has in store for us is it's, you know we can't just sit by and say well you know God gave me a word no we have to come into agreement with that word we have to be Begin to uh, you know to to really um, pray over that word um, so that we can you know see the fulfillment of that word come to pass. God wants us to partner with Him in in, in this whole process. Wow! So there's a part that God does. There's a part that we do. Absolutely. Break Absolutely. that down for us a little bit more so we can we can really really understand that. You know, when God releases a word to us and he says, I'm going to bless you, I'm going to uh, open doors for you for your business. Um, and so we have to begin to put ourselves in position to receive that particular thing that God has said belongs to us, that he's going to bless us with. And he said he's going to bless you in your business. Then it, it will be advantageous for you to start researching things about your business. Um, even, you know, looking at different um, classes um, in reference to your business. And then God will begin to connect you with people. He will connect you with people that have, you know, as we said, divine connections. You may be, you know, out somewhere. You may be attending a class you may be attending church and then there is a connection and so you're always on you know not to say that you're you have to do what God does no but you come in partnership with him and do your part God what is my part in this situation I know God is God is able to do a hundred and twenty five percent of everything but there are some things that he calls us to do and then there are some things that only he can do wow, that's good that's good yeah, that's good. I think, and I think it's also important for us to, to really look at that and think about that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Charlotte, how are you? Uh, we you know, we have to be able to look at that and think about it. What is it that God is requiring of us? Because I could sit here and say, I'm getting ready to accelerate all day long. Come on. Right. I could sit here and say, I'm getting ready to accelerate all day long. Okay? I'm getting ready to accelerate. I'm getting ready to accelerate. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting ready to accelerate. Right. God told me I was going to accelerate. Mm -hmm. But if I never put the car in gear, mm -hmm. come on, and then if I don't have gas in here, and if I if the car is not ready, not running, mm -hmm. and then I don't put the, the car in gear mm -hmm. and put my foot on the gas, then there's no acceleration. Absolutely. Many times we get the word, but we don't, we don't wait enough to get the instruction. Mm, on how to do it. On how to do it. And somebody else said we need the keys. Yeah. Right. You know, this car has this key fob, uh -huh. and so this fob... Uh, as long as it's in the car, it's it'll you know you know it'll, it'll take off, right? Or it'll start. Right. But getting started is a whole lot different from accelerating. Absolutely. But we want to get into a place <laughs> where we literally begin to accelerate in this season, like we've not accelerated before, and that's our declaration. I want to believe God with you, and we want to believe God with you that you get the right vehicle. That's one. That's another important thing. Yes. You get the right vehicle. Uh, you get the right uh, training. You get the right understanding. 
uh, you get the right uh, processes in order, amen, so that you can really accelerate. Uh, I was I was getting ready to do we're getting ready to do a meeting in in Little Rock, in Little Rock, Arkansas, and so there were some processes that we had to have in place uh, legally in order to be able to do the meeting in the city that we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Then because we had some things in order, and we have a team that is working on uh, on some things for us, mm -hmm. what happened was is that we they made a phone call and found out that there was an acceleration. Mm. There was an, it was a financial acceleration. Let me say yes. it like that. Uh, we thought it was going to be one thing and God literally shifted and made it something else. And so you have to look at that and you have to make sure that your stuff is in order, that, that things are together. And then, and then that you're prepared for the acceleration. Mm. That's the other thing I say, get ready for acceleration. Right. You got to make sure you're prepared for the acceleration. Because sometimes one of the things I say is we're praying for something and we're believing God for something and we're trusting God for something. But if we're not prepared for what God sends, then what will happen is it'll cost us more than if we had not been this, if we had not, if God had not given it to us. Right. And so I'm believing God's going to accelerate some things. I believe that it's going to be a new season, amazing season, tremendous season for all of us. But I also wanted to make sure that we're all prepared, that we're all in right position to receive yes. the manifestation of yes. the promises of God for our life, that your, that, your, that your family is together, that your business pieces are together. Um, you, you know, it's like if God gave you uh, this, I was reading this book just the other day, and in this book, it was it was talking about a guy who got a multi-million dollar uh just as his company was getting ready to go bankrupt um he got a multi-million dollar investor that came in and invested in it and so when he invested in it this person came on board with him and it caused him to accelerate and go to his next level okay and so when i thought about that but here was the key he had to have the bank accounts he had to have the information that was that was necessary and the capacity for the man to and listen when he said and listen to what he said he said when when this when this guy this investor called him he was he was it was hours i think it was december the 24th and if i told you the company you would know the company he said it was december 24th he said and it was just a few hours before uh, the banks would close and the business would, would be bankrupt, ba basically bankrupt or going out of business. Wow. He said, and as a result, listen to what I'm saying, as a result, he said they gave him a multi-million dollar uh, investment, so this investor did, and when he did that, he didn't have but a few dollars in the account. Because he had spent all of his money on this investment. He had spent all of his money on that. But he was prepared because he had his idea. He had a vision for it. He had a business plan for it. He had done the research. And now this investor comes along and literally causes him to accelerate. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, he became the, he, he, you know, he was working alongside because he had, you know, everything in place. And that's one of the things that we have to really begin to do is to really put things in place so that when God opens the door, we have everything we need to walk through that door. Yeah. And then we talk about acceleration. Another thing is you see, I got my seatbelt on because I'm ready. <laughs> I am ready. I am ready. Yes. Listen to me. Yes. I am ready. Come on, I got we got our seatbelts on. Because I'm believing God that when this thing takes off, let me tell you something. About a year and a half ago, we many of you, we had the book Sudden uh It's My Suddenly Season. And so uh when we got when we did It's My Suddenly Season, there are a lot of things nobody told us about book publishing. There's a lot of things nobody told us about, you know, going to the next level with with you know with your book. And so nobody told us this stuff. Man, let me tell you something. We got more orders for the book and, and we weren't even ready for that so then when the orders came we weren't ready and we had to then go through this whole process of trying to figure out we didn't know stamps.com did we remember we didn't remember we didn't know stamps.com we didn't know any of that and so people got the book uh and and or people made orders and we didn't even it was like <laughs> we didn't we, know how to we didn't know how, really how to process it you know how to you know just just any of that stuff so so then we go to the go to the post office and we're standing in the line for like you know 30 minutes and then we get up to the up to the register and the lady looks at me and she says sir you come in here every day at 5 30 and we, you know we close at, at 5 30 <laughs> and you come in every day at 5 30 and 
And I said, but I got to get these books out to the people. I got to get these books out. And she was like, well, if you got to get them out, maybe you should come in a little earlier. I said, yeah, but we're working through trying to get all these addresses and because we didn't have processes in place. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that to somebody who's been praying, asking God for acceleration and for your next level uh, that you that you got to put yourself in a position mm -hmm. to be prepared to handle the acceleration because right. you're expecting it. It's one thing if you're not expecting it, yes. then you may not have the time to get right. ready for it. But when you're expecting acceleration, you got to put your seatbelt on. You got to make sure you got gas yes. in your tank. You yes. got to make sure that you that you have a clear path. You yes. got to make sure that you have a vision for where you're going. Because if you accelerate and you have no idea where you're going, you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna hit something. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. And so I'm just saying there are some principles you want to put in place as it pertains uh, as it pertains to actually being in place mm -hmm. and making sure that you're really ready to accelerate. I right. really believe that this is the time and this is the season that each and every one of you will accelerate. You will go to your next level. You will uh, you will have a strategy mm -hmm. that takes you from where you are to where you were always destined to be yes. uh, because this is that season for you. Mm -hmm. You've been believing God. You've been trusting God. Mm -hmm. We know that God is a faithful God. We know that his word ret cannot return void concerning you. We know that um, uh, you know we know that he's watching over his word to prepare it. Uh, we understand that uh, that, that all, all of the promises of God are yea and amen. Uh, so we understand all of these processes. But at the same time, there is also uh, there is also a necessity for you to be prepared mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. if you if God sends it, and I had a friend of mine, I was riding down the road with a friend of mine one time, and his prayer was, God, give me this money that I need. And listen, God gave him the money. He had done it about five times. And so when we were riding down the road, when he said that, I'm a, I'm a, I really believe in the power, the miraculous, all those things. But man, as we was, we were riding on the road, the Lord said to me, he said, I gave it to him last time. He didn't have a plan and he just spent it. He just did whatever he wanted to do with it. Right. And so then the Lord said to me, he said, but here's the deal. He said, if, if he would develop a plan this time, I'll do it again. Yes. And so when you look at that, you've got to really, you, you know, you, you've got to look at it and you've got to ask yourself the question, Lord, and ask the, you know, ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? H how do I get this thing so that when I get the acceleration that it, that I really, really can move forward and have momentum and have acceleration and, and I don't have to find myself accelerating and then losing speed accelerating losing speed accelerating losing speed god grants you the favor mm -hmm. god blesses you you know and then and then every time he blesses you you because you're not ready and things are not in order then it causes you to miss some blessings and miss some things that god has for you are you listening right so there's a there is a spiritual and a supernatural side mm -hmm. uh to this thing but there is also um Somebody said they thought I was going to go super fast in my car, sudden acceleration. Uh, I, I might still do that, amen? Uh, but I'm saying that from the perspective that I think it's very important for us as believers uh, that although we're believing God and we're trusting God and we're believing that God is, uh, is going to do some tremendous and amazing things, we also at the same time want to be in, be in position to receive the manifestation of the things that we're believing God for. Amen. So when you get off of this scope today, I want you to begin to write down uh, the things that you're expecting God to do and then ask God, what are the things that I need to do in order to be ready to receive the manifestation of the things and the principles that you're, that you're, that you're giving me? Right. Uh, one of the things, uh, that, you know, there, there are even things, and you know, and I, I, people say what they want to. It's just like a, a, a woman, uh, a girl at the age of 12, 13, 14, 15, even up to 18, can you, you, you can physically have a child. Mm -hmm. You can have a child, but um, my grandmama would say, well, I won't say what my grandmama, my grandmama would say, you know, my grandma said, that's, that's fast, baby, that's fast. But you're not really prepared because there is emotional, em, uh, emotional, financial, there are all Maybe kinds of things, things physical too. things that are needed so that you can actually be prepared for that acceleration. You know, and one of the things, even as you're saying, write it down, what would you do if those that are in business, what if God increased your business 25 or 50 percent? How would you handle that? Mm -hmm. How would you handle the increase? How would you handle um, getting more employees? Um, how would you handle that? How would you handle a greater workload? Many times, you know, and, and all of us may not have our own business. And I understand that I was, you know, um, had a professional job for 20, almost 24 years. So how would you handle being promoted on your job? 
how would you handle that? Mm -hmm. You know, we, we want more. We say, God, give us more. God, I, I, you know, I'm tired of this position. I want to go to the next level. I want the next level. But how do we handle Oh, let me give next? you another one. You ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. What if God, you know how we are, all of us, we want the seven streams of income. And everybody, you know, we talk about, you know, how we, we need seven streams of income. I don't know how we got on this on this subject. But oftentimes we talk about the, the multiple streams, mm -hmm. um, the multiple streams of income. And I was driving today, and, and we have probably five to six streams of income, five to six different entities that we deal with and uh, that we have. And so I was, I was, as I was driving, I said, people say that they want these five and six and seven streams of income. But the reality is five and six streams of income and five and six businesses will keep you working. Right. It's five to seven times more pressure, more sacrifice. Um, I mean, everything that you can name, it's more of. Right. So you, you do get the more the more resources and the more money, but you also have, uh, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to. You have more responsibility, less sleep. More labor. More labor. Yeah. And and that's even if these no are help. passive. That's even if they're <laughs> passive, uh, passive income. Because yes. you can have passive income like properties. Uh, you yeah. can have passive income like other things. But at the same time, um, yeah, help help that person out. I don't know who that is. Okay, praise the Lord. Uh, but there's more responsibility, and so you got to look at that because sometimes you you get what you ask for. And then you're frustrated. You're like, my God, I haven't slept in, in weeks. I haven't had a day off. I haven't done this. Or oh, I need more employees. Or you got, you know, you got all of these different products. Or oh, the employees don't, they got, you got seven different companies and all of these different companies, especially if you're dealing with companies. So now, uh, you know, you got like seven different companies. And so all of a sudden, each one of these companies, you got employees, you got, you got, you got taxes, you got bills, you got buildings, you got responsibilities, you got all these different processes if, if they're all different companies or if you've got properties, you got to maintain the property. So now you got, you got investment income, you got properties. But if something breaks down on the property, guess what you got to do? You got to go fix it. You got to, if something's going, and the HOA says something, you got to go fix it. And so again, you got to be prepared for the acceleration when it comes. I don't know why, usually, um, hmm. wow, that's, that's good. I like that. Amen. I love it. 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 So if you have not gotten our book, we just released, uh, matter of fact, the 16th is when it actually finally is released, but Sudden Breakthrough, of course, Lejean Valor Cole. And uh, of course, there's a special chapter. I know it's backwards, uh, but a special <laughs> chapter by Apostle John Eckhart. And uh, so tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. Uh, position yourself for sudden breakthrough in any area of your life, health, finance, relationships, and more. Mm -hmm. Access to finish your north and to see prayers, prophecies, and promises fulfilled. Declare and confess the word to access God's sudden breakthroughs. Receive supernatural strategies for acceleration and advancement. Re recognize divine alignments, new relationships, Kinesis connections, and destiny-defining moments. Don't give up before your sudden breakthrough. Discover the secrets to seeing your prayers answered and exceeded. All it takes is one sudden encounter with God. And so we believe in God that for you. And uh, I really believe that God is uh, is accelerating, even uh, as we had an acceleration. Uh, <laughs> we're believing God for that, amen. And um, and we're believing God for yours. Uh, it is coming, yes. The audio books are coming. They sure will. And um, you can go to, now if you go to our website, you can go to www.lejeanandvalora.com. On our CDs and DVD page, there are declarations and prayers uh, and it's called um, it's my suddenly season so uh, that that could be a, a uh, that could be amazing yep uh, that could be amazing and I think that's something that would really really bless you is to get the book uh, somebody said I ordered the book Sharon Bernie oh bless your heart she ordered the book excited for it to come and so um, so you can you can order it through Amazon so they and again it, we're gonna get it on audible as well here very soon uh, but you can't order it on Amazon you can order it on Kindle and so it will come in all of those formats and, uh, and then if you want it signed, you want a signed copy, you can always go to uh, our website and you can get it there. Amen. And somebody says they're getting prepared. Absolutely. Somebody says I'm going to order the book. Amen. Again, you can order the book www.lejeanandvalora.com uh, if you want a signed copy. If you just want the Kindle version, you can, of course, go to www. 
um, um, Amazon.com, and you can go there and you can get it there. And so Nelly Chanel said, I got my signed copy. Thank you so much. It means so much. We appreciate you. Listen, get prepared for acceleration. I believe it's coming to you. I believe that God is getting ready to, you've been sitting still, but while you're sitting still, don't just sit there. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're ready. Uh, make sure got mine read and about to read it again. Signed to all. Bless your heart. Bless your Esther glory. Thank you so much. So make sure that you're in position. Make sure that you are that you're ready because acceleration. Marina uh, uh, Angelica Carriot, uh, Coriot is getting ready to do a conference in Houston. Yes. And it's called Prayer Praise. Uh, and what's the last piece? Pursuit. Pursuit. And so. Um, because I, I wanted to, I was thinking something else when you said that. Uh, and anyway, somebody asked, what's the name of the book? It's called Sudden Breakthrough. I think you can see it. There it is. You can see it. And, um, yep. So, um, and so it's going to, that one's going to be in Houston. And so, man, I, I am, I am excited because God like literally accelerated her. And because she hadn't planned on doing a conference, I don't think that was just a plan. Uh, or we had planned on it, but it was like we were just sitting still, mm -hmm. and so uh, and so we were just sitting still, and now all of a sudden there was acceleration. There was like this yes. this this thrust of it, and that's going to be November uh, 9th and 10th in Houston, Texas, for uh, the Prayer, Praise, and Pursuit Conference. And then in two weeks we'll be in Little Rock, Arkansas. For those of you that know anybody in Little Rock, uh, and or knows anybody. You you know you gotta um you know you gotta you gotta you know meet us there if you're close to Little Rock if you're in Memphis anywhere uh, then we need to make sure we meet you there because I really believe it's going to be a, a tremendous time. You anointed for God one the address for the Houston meeting or for the Little Rock meeting. I need to make sure I check that out. Um, Marina, can you put the address up? Uh, you can actually go for the. Um, for so for the for the the, the the Little Rock meeting, you can go to lejeanvalor.com. That's the website you can go there. And then for the uh, Houston meeting, you can go to Pursuit-2018 uh, on if you go to what's the thing I'm looking for on um, Eventbrite. So if you go to Eventbrite, yes. you can do the Houston. Um, you can and yes. Stacy uh, Arsenault, I will get you that information. She just put it up. But it, I'll have it on my Facebook page too for Houston, Stacy. I'll make sure we we uh, post it on uh, our um, Facebook page. Yep. Yes, um, you can certainly go to our website and click on the information is there, or you can go to Eventbrite. Not for the Houston one yet. Lejean, oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah. yeah, not Houston. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Prayer, praise, and pursuit uh, on November 9th and 10th in Houston, and um, yep, there it is. So I'll have it on my Facebook page for those of you, and then uh, we'll also put it on our website. So we'll even put her flyer on our on our uh, on our website because uh, we want to support what she's doing, and we want to support her and bless her, yes. and uh, we love her so much, and she's just been so faithful and so committed for years. And uh, and then the webinar, I forgot about that. Okay, there it is: prayerpraisepursuit.eventbrite.com. Thank you, Nelly yeah. Chanel. Thank you so much. Somebody so prayer, praise, pursuit at dot eventbrite.com. Tell them about the webinar. We're getting out of here. You, you about to tell them about the webinar? <laughs> oh, I and then we'll too. get out of here. Oh, go ahead. You got <laughs> well, it. Spiritual Warfare webinar is coming up. It's um, October the 24th through the 26th. And um, really, you know, I, a few months ago, we were talking about spiritual warfare from a military mindset. And my husband, as you know, was in the military for um, about 14 years. And so, yes, yeah, spiritual warfare webinar. And um, God has just really given us. And I wasn't just in the military. I was a combat engineer. Okay. Mobility, survivability, <laughs> and counter mobility <laughs> operations. Demolitions, minefield warfare. Uh, that was my job. Yes. I, I emplaced minefields and I also... Uh, the demolition with minefields, also bridges, obstacles, any kind of obstacle. I was, I had a. Uh, that was our job was to be able to destroy it, and mm -hmm. also not only just the the obstacles, but also the in, pl in placing obstacles so the enemy couldn't get to us. Yes. And so that's why we want to be able to understand spiritual warfare from a military perspective, uh, because oftentimes we don't re we just understand it from from a, a lot of the other perspective, but most people don't teach it from a from a military perspective because they don't have a military background. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is, um, you know, we we learn it from you know from books, or we look at the demons, or we look at this, or we look at it just from a biblical perspective. But I think that even the military learned its tactics of warfare from things that we that we got from the Bible. And we've been fighting militarily for years. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, I really, really believe, um, yep, so I really believe yes. 
<laughs> that that there are that there are principles and processes that we can put in place mm -hmm. uh, from a military perspective that talk talk to us about combat operations, uh, warfare operations that we can put in place even as it pertains to spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. And it's and warfare is warfare. Mm -hmm. People can say what they want. An ambush is an ambush. Mm -hmm. Something hits you out of nowhere. And, and multiple things of shooting at you at one time, that's an ambush. Mm -hmm. uh, sniper fire, something is, somebody's shooting at you, you're getting attacks from this area, from this area and, and it's like everything, you know, and you can't find the, uh, the source of the attack, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, or you're in situations where uh, there is a minefield. And right. so minefields, when I go to the uh, Veterans Administration, I was there yesterday. Because you can't see the mine. You, mean you, you can't, can't see, see the mine unless you're taught to recognize mines. Mm -hmm. Now, we're taught to recognize mines because I can look at the ground and tell whether or not the ground has been disturbed. Now, a natural civilian and a person who's not trained in that won't be able to look at the ground to tell whether or not the ground has is, is, is been disturbed and whether mm -hmm. there's a mine that's been in there. Mm -hmm. But I can look at it. Even if it's been through rain and other stuff, I can tell that it's been now. Now, there were times in mm -hmm. Vietnam and other places where it had been there so long and they had they had put mines out and then those mines were left. Uh, and, and in other combat situations where the mines had been left there so long that they literally uh, were in the ground and you may not have known that they were there and then you need a mine detector. Right. Either you need a mine detector or mm -hmm. what we had was called a mine clearing line charge which it went out and it would literally go out and it would explode anything that was there. And so there are ways to detect whether or not there, uh, you know, whether or not there are actually minefields. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's also ways to, to detect whether or not um, you know, it, you could also, there's ways to detect where a sniper would sit. Mm -hmm. Like, like because of my, my, my mindset, uh, it, you know, it's, it, something happens and we're just talking for just a few minutes, but um, something happens, you know, we, we, when we go places. So my wife and I will go some, we we'll go somewhere to eat. And my, a lot of times when people are with me, they don't understand that I'm watching, I'm observing. I am watching 360 degrees mm -hmm. around me at all times because my mind is always trained uh, for the environment of combat. And so when I'm looking, and so, you know, we may be somewhere and my wife is like, you know, she's just happy, she's just enjoying herself, she's just, you know, just what she is. But my mind is always thinking about, is there a threat, is there a situation, is there a circumstance? Now I know we have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you know, will, will teach you things and will bless you. Mm -hmm. But I'm always looking and observing. And, and in, in spiritual warfare, sometimes things happen uh, because people don't necessarily understand what spiritual warfare is really about, amen? Right. And so I think that even our, our weapons of our warfare being prayer, uh, being the word of God, uh, being the angelic host, uh, you know, being intercession. So all of these different pieces, uh, the prophetic, all of these different pieces come to help us to fight spiritual warfare. But at the same time, if we, number one, don't even know how the enemy is going to attack us or how the enemy attacks or what his strategies are, then what will happen is, is that we will always find ourselves being defeated by the enemy. Mm -hmm. Some of the problem that many believers have is that they don't understand how the enemy has been attacking them all their life. They've never assessed their lives. They've never looked at it. They've never seen how the enemy has attacked you. And you got people that's talking about spiritual warfare, but you've never even taken the time to look mm -hmm. at how the enemy attacks your marriage, how the enemy attacks your finances. Finances, right. How the enemy attacks uh, even your mind? How do you know? How did the enemy attack your your mind, your will, your emotions? How does he attack your family? How did he attack your mother? How did he attack your father? How did he attack your grandmother? And so you got to be able to look at that and be able to then uh, be able to then have have a training and an understanding and a strategy to be able to see every time the enemy has attacked me, this is how he's attacked me. Mm -hmm. This same demon has used this same process every time I turned around, and this is the problem that we have. Right. This, this same spirit has attacked me. This same situation. You Year after year, you're still broke. Mm -hmm. Year after year, you're still emotionally broken. Year after year, you're still dealing with anxiety. So you got you to look at that. The, fi the issues with finances is not that the fact that the money has left the, uh, the earth. The, the reality is, is that the, the, the issue is you're not seeing how the enemy causes you to not save the money and implement the money and do it well. Mm -hmm. That's where the problem comes in. And so you've got to be able to look at that. You've got to be able to think about that. Amen. And so uh, somebody said that'd be a good, a great book too. You know what? We we had there is a manual that we that we're putting together for it right. uh, that includes some of the other spiritual mm -hmm. warfare we mm -hmm. we've taught, but also this as well. We're putting all of this in there, and then another thing we're putting in this one is the six levels of warfare. Uh, and so uh, the you know sometimes we've been looking at warfare on a perspective that everything that's dealing with us, but there's a greater warfare. 
Uh, Daniel didn't always deal with level one, you know, warfare. Amen. And so we're going to put those six levels of warfare in there, and all of this will be coming out in that uh, what we what we're calling uh, uh, what, what do we call it? We call it the Spiritual Warfare uh, Academy Training Manual. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to put all of that stuff in there, and it it'll be ready. Amen. Yes. It, it will be ready, and um, and so oh, we're excited. Mm -hmm. And uh, want to teach you more strategy. You can go to the website www.lejeunevalor.com, and at the bottom you'll see where uh, where you can actually register for that. Mm -hmm. And that's on uh, that will be in the webinar. Yep, that'll be in the webinar. Uh, love the prayer warrior manual. Absolutely, thank you so much. And so um, and then we'll even we'll, we'll also have those strategies for defeating each one of those type of attacks: the ambush, the minefield, uh, the sniper attack. Um, we'll be able to put all of those in there so that you'll be able to uh, really, really tap into that. So again, that that will be in the manual, and uh, I'm excited about that because for years I always knew that my military training would correlate with the other stuff that I'm doing, and so I really believe it's going to be tremendous. Go to the website www.lejeunevalor.com. At the bottom, you'll see the Sport Spiritual Warfare Academy that's coming out on uh, the, what, the 24th, 25th, somewhere in there. Yes. Yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. So it'll be uh, Friday uh, night and then Saturday morning, and uh, and if we need to extend it a little bit further, we can. Uh, Terry Fields, I love that rules of engagement. Yes. And uh, and so maybe we'll maybe we'll we'll that'll be how I'll rename that chapter just just for you, Terry Field, and say uh, it'll be rules of engagement, how yeah. the enemy attacks, and we'll go from there. So we love you guys. We're looking forward to it. Be excited to see you in Little Rock, see you in Houston. Uh, for those of our friends in Curacao, mm -hmm. we're coming. For Columbia, we're coming. Uh, Trinidad, we're coming. Uh, we'll be in all those cities before the end of the year. And I'm really excited. We'll also be in Boston. Mm -hmm. That's another city that we'll be in before the end of the year. And uh, so it's just tremendous. We love you. We thank God for you. We're excited about your acceleration and what God's going to do in your life. Go to the website, register for uh, Houston, register for, for Little Rock, register for the uh, Spiritual Warfare webinar. And we look forward to seeing you soon. All right? Uh, Jack, yep. Hope you come to Jackson, close to Jacksonville. You know, we have shipping, uh, shipping fam under God. Okay. Uh, we actually have um uh, a connection that with we, we, a, a plant that we're going to do in the jacksonville area mm -hmm. so we're planning to plant a church in the jacksonville area probably between january and march of next year we'll be planning in the um in the jacksonville florida area so we're really excited about that we've got a church in houston i mean not in houston maybe that's prophetic but we i know we have one <laughs> in uh that might be prophetic you never know uh lundy i see you man i gotta call you so uh january i mean so what was like oh tallahassee charlotte Tampa, and then the next place is supposed to be Jacksonville. So I'm really excited about mm -hmm. what God's doing. We look forward to seeing you guys again soon. We got to leave. We got to go film and tape some. And as somebody says, the Midwest, we're coming to Arkansas. Uh, and we're coming to Arkansas in two weeks. We'll be in Arkansas. You can go to our website to see the flyer. And we're going to do some more stuff in the Midwest as well. I know the Midwest is, that's a part of it, but I know further out. And we are coming back to Arizona and to Denver, uh, I think, very soon. So we got some plans for that as well. All right. Well, we love you. We'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Blessings. Bye-bye.